I've worked in emergency medicine for 11 years, and I've seen a lot of death, yet I'm so afraid of dying. Any advice on how I can be at peace with dying and mortality? Well, I don't know if anybody's ever really at peace with that. I mean, I think what you can take away... Read Socrates' Apology. There's two versions of it. There's, uh, there's, the Pla there's, there's Plato's version and there's... What was his name? Aristophanes? There's another version. I don't think that's right. Anyways, there's two versions of Socrates' Apology. It's very short. It's only a few pages long. You know, 15 pages or something. Read them both. Why? Well, because Socrates puts, together a very, puts forward a very interesting proposition. And I don't know really what to make of it. So, I asked my parents once if they could take a drug that would return them to being 18, physically, but they, can they had all the wisdom that they'd accrued over the years. They wouldn't lose that if they would do it. And they didn't say yes right away. You know, and, and I don't know if they ever did tell me what they had decided. But it was interesting to me that they didn't say... They didn't say no right away either, you know. It was interesting that they had to think about it because you'd think that if you were offered something approximating immortality and health, you'd take it. And maybe you would, but, but then here's an alternative proposition and I don't know... It's not like I'm not trying to maintain myself, you know, if I could extract out an extra decade or an extra 20 years keeping myself healthy, that seems like a good thing. Would I want to live 500 years? Whew, that's a long time, man. A thousand years? I don't know. That's a long time. But the alternative is, you know, truncated existence with death. And that's also not particularly palatable. And so is there a medicament for mortality? Well, Socrates, but implicit in Socrates' apology is the following idea. Imagine you lived your life fully. And that would mean that you, you said what you had to say when you had to say it. You did what you needed to do when you needed to do it. And you availed yourself of every opportunity that came your way. Right? So you'd exhaust yourself in the service of your life, let's say. Maybe by the time you were old, you'd have had enough. You know, and you could just let go. And, uh, you know, you do see this with people, is that... And we kind of know this even when we grieve. You know, maybe you have a relative who's 95 and they die. And, and people are sad, but you say, well, you know, they lived a full life. And the fuller the life, the less, in some ways, the less catastrophic the demise appears to be. And so, it might be that if you fully exhausted yourself, that your life would be enough. So, I know, you know, people, I said, I mentioned this already, people who are old and they look back on their life, they're often sorrowful and regretful for the things they didn't do, you know, the things they left undone and maybe now can't do. You know, you could imagine those of you who've been parents, maybe have grown kids now, you think, well, if you could have children again, would you? And Maybe the answer is yes, but, but another answer is, well, you know, I, I had kids already. I already did that. And, and, and if you did that well, maybe that's enough. You know, we have grandkids now, and that's not exactly the same as having kids. It's sort of, it's kids light, right? And, and it's wonderful. But you made a joke about that when you were on stage, you know, you said, they have all the advantages of children, grandchildren, with none of the disadvantages, and that's a joke, but everybody laughs because everybody gets that, and it's great to have grandchildren, and like, would we return to our youth and do it again? Well, that's a very difficult question to answer, right? Because you just, <laughs> well, you just don't have the, you can't tell what you decide unless that option was actually available to you. And maybe the answer is yes, and maybe the answer is no, because, you know, been there, done that, on to whatever the next thing is. And so I would say, if you're afraid of death, take a look at how you're living, and see if, if you're all in. 
And maybe if you're all in enough, that's good enough. I think that's right. I think that's right. And then I think also, if you're all in, and death visits, and you know it's impending, you could say to yourself, I did everything that I was here to do. At least then you're not going to torture yourself with that as you're facing death. That's something too. 